Hello and welcome to AI Crack YouTube channel. I'm Paris and today we'll be talking to one of the candidates who appeared for the BAT interview this year. BAT is an exam conducted by Bits Bilani for their MBA in Business Analytics program. And without further ado, let's start this session. Hello Karthik, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm great. So Karthik, uh, please give a brief dis- a brief introduction about you. Yeah, so um, about me, I've uh, graduated from IIT Madras um, and uh, I have a MSc in Mathematics from IIT Delhi. Uh, I've mm-hmm. uh, tried for civil services for quite some time. Now, I, uh, I, I'm, you can say unsuccessfully. So I'm trying for alternate career options and I chose business analytics uh, as one of them. Okay. So Karthik, before going to the interview, first, uh, let us discuss about the bad written exam. So mm-hmm. how was your written exam? How was it? Uh, it was good. Uh, actually, um, um, it, it had two sections. Uh, uh, as far as I remember, uh, uh, one is uh, related to our uh, regular aptitude, math, English kind of thing, kind of stuff. And one is related to programming. Uh, so they were asking questions from C, C, plus, plus, et cetera. Uh, like uh, the, the questions were also a bit, uh, you know, application oriented, like uh, they would give you a snippet of the code and they will ask you, they, they ask you what, uh, what is the output of this? Uh, okay. So that kind of question. So if somebody is interested in that, uh, then they, they should uh, try to learn these. Okay. So what would you say is the difficulty of the exam? Did you find it difficult? Uh, actually, uh, it's been a long time since I've uh, uh, programmed. So I found the uh, these uh, questions on C, C++ uh, to be a little bit tough uh-huh. because okay. I, I didn't remember uh, how the assignments are made. Uh, I didn't remember the priority order of uh, 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 assignment, etc. I didn't remember mm-hmm. some principles uh, of programming, so it it I found a little bit difficult. But if if you're a regular programmer, then uh, you do it. Uh, I would say it is moderate. Uh, mm-hmm. For uh, the first section where uh, the this uh, reasoning uh, and, and all reasoning math aptitude questions were there, English questions, it was kind of easy. Mm-hmm. It was not uh, that difficult. I mean, if you are preparing for CAT, then uh, it's kind of uh, easy. Okay. I, and, I would uh, say not PGTBA level, uh, the, the first section. Okay, okay. So the programming part was difficult. Yeah, a little bit diff- difficult. But again, you know, okay. uh, in the first section, the time is also not sufficient. Na? Uh, in PGTBA, we get uh, ample time, like uh, 50 questions, yeah. uh, uh, 150 minutes, right? Uh, oh, sorry, 180 minutes, right? Yeah. In PGTBA. Yeah. Uh, here, we have a lot, lot more questions. Uh, easier, but uh, more questions. Okay. Okay. So now we move on to the interview. So, as a whole, how was your interview experience? Uh, I found it to be uh, quite, uh, I would say, enjoyable. Uh, they did not grill me much. They they were just trying to be friendly, trying to understand me, trying to understand my profile, etc. So they they asked me a little bit about uh, my past, what I've studied. Uh, and uh, they, they were also trying to suggest me that your profile is good for PhD. Why don't you go for a PhD? Just, uh, you know, uh, regular conversation kind of stuff. Okay. So it was casual. It was casual. So what were the questions that were asked from you? Yeah. So it was more of a HR interview for me. Uh, they were asking uh, about uh, why I want to go for business analytics. Why not a regular MBA or mm-hmm. if I'm interested in data or data processing, data analytics, etc. why not go for an MTech in data analytics or a PhD f- for that matter? Why not go for that? Uh, they, they were saying you, you get a lot, uh, a lot of good opportunities in industry of a PhD also. So like that, they were suggesting, uh, they were also, I mean, trying to understand my motives. Uh, secondly, they, they were, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, they did not ask me any, uh, math related questions. Um, uh, they, they, they just asked me, 
about one scholarship uh, which had written in their uh, national board of higher mathematics scholarship they asked me uh, what is it and uh, uh, how how i got that uh, apart from that uh, no no subject related questions okay, okay. so all, all all the questions were from your experience and your study as well yes so okay okay so how were the panelists like okay there were two panelists uh, one one person was uh, going through my documents uh, i i assume the first the other person already went through them uh, he was the one asking the questions uh, they were uh, very nice the person who was asking the questions he was very nice uh, the second person he barely spoke uh, at the end uh, he asked me one or two questions only um, Uh, i think he asked me what all subjects i had studied in msc uh, in, in msc mathematics what all uh, subjects i had studied uh, and uh, one or two questions uh, uh, i mean just just uh, related to this uh, studies and uh, uh, then he he asked me uh, that i forgot to attach some work experience certificate uh, from my first job so he asked me to send okay. that, uh, that that's all oh okay okay and how long was it to you uh i i think it's uh, roughly 15 to 20 minutes 20 minutes to hoga i i think 20 minutes because extempore was there na uh, the initial part was just uh, you know i would say some 12 to 15 minutes and extempore uh, some 5 minutes i think mm-hmm. yeah coming to the extempore part uh, what was your topic yeah so uh after the after they finished their uh, normal questions uh, they they said okay we, uh, we'll give you your extempore topic uh, they looked at each other nodded and said oh, you talk about uh, bitcoin blockchain blockchain actually they said blockchain mm-hmm. so uh, blockchain and uh, the interviewer asked uh, whether i am comfortable with the topic so uh, i said i'm comfortable and so he they gave me some 2 minutes to write the top, uh, write about the topic uh in my rough sheet and uh, then i had to speak so uh, i i wrote about the topic uh, for a couple of minutes whatever i knew and when they said i uh, to start talking i started it was a good extempore uh, actually i felt so because uh, the day before that i gave, i gave fms also and uh, uh, i i screwed up the fms extempore to them. i mean they give 10 seconds to think and we had to stop uh, talk for one minute uh, in my defense maybe that was the reason i screwed it up but here we get ample time to think about the topic and we we get to write down our thoughts and then speak so that is a good thing going on for us in in bad interview so i would say the extempore uh, whole thing uh, from uh, you know uh, giving us the topic to uh, till we end uh, the uh, end our uh, thoughts uh, that takes around 4 to 5 minutes 5 minutes i think okay so how many uh, minutes did you spoke for uh i think we are given 2 minutes. minutes to write down and 2 minutes to speak i i think that's the split i don't remember properly but uh, uh, roughly it, it is 4 to 5 minutes okay yeah so all in all it was a good interview like yeah it was a good interview actually it is an online interview so uh, my this uh, earphones were not working properly and my uh, this laptop was also not working properly i had to struggle for half an hour uh, to uh, get, get the setup right and uh, i i could not find the login link also it was uh, difficult I, i i did not understand where the link was so it, uh, you know they could have uh, streamlined the process a bit more but all in all it was a good uh, experience okay thank you karthik and what tips would you give to a candidate who is appearing for your bat interview yeah i would say uh i would say you be thorough about uh, you know your background uh, be confident about the way you speak uh, whatever you say you be confident about it you don't have to be correct all the time but you have to believe in what you are saying because that confidence is something they look at uh, while offering uh, admission anywhere 
so uh, that is one tip i give uh, second thing is uh, if uh, uh, if your work experience uh, is related to analytics somehow uh, expect a lot of grilling from that expect a lot of questions from that and uh, uh, third okay. thing is you try to practice uh, because extempore has a lot of uh, weightage also uh, you try to practice speaking mm-hmm. in 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 front of mirror at least in your own house okay yeah thank you very much karthik for your insights and i think the people viewing this video will find it very helpful and they will ace that interview thank you very much yeah hopefully all the best to anyone who is watching the interview